As the school year comes to an end, many students will be hitting the books this summer. Joining us this morning, Erica Palmasano with Baltimore County Public Libraries is joining us to talk more about the summer reading programs and how your children can be involved. And not just children, the adults can get involved as well. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. Absolutely. The summer reading challenge is for people of all ages. Of course, we really are focusing most on children. We want to avoid that summer slide. We want to keep kids reading all summer. So we do have a challenge that they can participate in. You can get the uh, information on our website at bcpl.info. Right now, you are at Woodlawn, the Woodlawn branch. Tell us there's something that's very unique about this branch. The Woodland Branch is a fabulous branch. It's always a, a popular branch as well. We have Storyville here, which is an early learning center, an early literacy center for children zero through five. It's adorable from a parent's <laughs> perspective, but it's also, there's so many interesting and fun things to do with your kids. They have areas for uh, children who aren't walking, a little uh, infant play area, all the way up to kids who are five, and have, they have a mail room and a grocery store. So it's a great place to take the kids, and it sounds like Monday is going to be really hot. So if you have young <laughs> kids, stop at the Woodlawn Branch, or of course the Rosedale Branch, and go into Storyville. Well, now you mentioned too, you talked about the different branches. One of the things that parents right. are always concerned about too, uh, you know, that you get through the school year, the programs, the meal programs, you said some of the branches are actually offering lunch through this uh, time of year. Ten of our branches, we have 19 branches, ten of our branches are offering free lunches to kids uh, 18 and under. So. Any kid who is at home, maybe the, perhaps their parents work during the day, they're not really sure where they're getting their next meal, they can always come to the library, no questions asked, have a free, healthy lunch, hang out here with us, participate in programs, read books. Um, the library is open and welcome for them. And speaking of the programs, uh, there is a wide range of things that kids can do, including science and technology programs. Tell us about that. Always. We have a ton of programs lined up this summer. Anything from art programs, music programs. Actually, our theme for the Summer Reading Challenge is Libraries Rock. So we have lots of music programs coming up this summer. Right behind me is the Woodlawn Branch's stream space. So mm -hmm. there's all kinds of um, engineering and technology and scientific um, based programs and, that happen behind me. And, mm -hmm. and um, games and all kinds of projects that kids can come in and do and that's really for tweens and teens so they can come in and, and hang out here and work in there and hours for the library this summer erica we are open seven days a week um, nine to nine monday through thursday nine to five thirty on friday and saturday and then one to five on sunday open all the time yes erica open thanks. all the time we're here <laughs> 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 you heard her. Erica, thank you so much. Extending that learning thank period you. after the last day of school. Thank you guys for your service. Thank you. All right. And this is Erica Palmasano with Baltimore County Public Libraries. Very nice program. I know, I know. And she makes the kids want to come. So yeah, go on out there and keep reading throughout the summer. Still